we'll get to listen to um, his pitch in its entirety. All right, let me pull this up. I think this should be the right one. Yep, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's listen to Sargon shows up on the kill stream. Let's uh, let's listen to his brilliant idea. Let let's see where it goes. Everybody ready? Are we ready for this? Okay. What is your definition of drama? So, I mean, you can look at That's almost any topic and, and say, well, you know, this, this this displeases me. This is just drama. I don't want to talk That's, about that's this. a great question. I don't know. Um, uh, I, excuse suppose, me. Waiter, I suppose I would waiter, just say... Uh, waiter, inter- I, I, where are my appetizers? I've been waiting yeah, for I, I would say minutes. I would just say it's... 30, uh, 30 minutes, waiter. Where like are my appetizers? Actually. My frittatas are going to get cold. Can I, speak to your, can I speak to your manager? No. I, I, this Maybe service is this service is horrendous. <laughs> I heard I heard I heard you were going to mention a, a big brained idea, so I wanted a front row seat to watch it. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of glad you're here, Jim. He's kind of glad I was there. I don't know how glad he was by the end of it, but he was very excited to have me there uh, with Ralph and everybody else listening, because he was going to pitch his amazing idea to us. Um, it's it's really smart thinking, not something us plebs could really come up with i mean us small brain people us uh plebeians uh, you know a little peon brain motherfuckers we can't get up to the level that sargon's operating on but he has got uh it's ironclad really it's it's ironclad uh with his idea on how to save the west let me uh let me just adjust here let me let me pull it up we'll, we'll look at a few more clips here and there but let's let's take a look let me find these timestamps. <laughs> find out what uh what uh his great idea is let me pull this up. Who's we? I, that sounds very collectivist. Collective I thought we were individualists here, Carl. The collective internet. Do you not think that would be funny? Do you I think mean, how, anybody on the internet gives two fucks about Gamergate at this point? It's it's no, become a joke. No, like no, I don't, Jim. That's the point. That's the that's the entire point. <laughs> what is your what pitch exactly? Get behind. get the that's band back together? Is that what is that what you're saying? I mean, like I don't I don't understand. What, what would look? They think Gamergate is a tremendous universal and categoric evil. Right? Who else do they think is a categoric evil? Uh, can you can you figure out where he's going? I feel like I'm chat? fucking lost. What are we talking? What is your plan? Oh, what is your? I guess what's your idea? Hit, hit, hit us with it. Try and use a bit of just just try and look a bit ahead. Just look a bit ahead. How if, if we're if talking you, about Gamergate? I'm were, looking. You know, actually, let me interrupt this because I I, I think this is a maybe a good point to to maybe go over some sargonisms. These are things that I've noticed he likes to do on streams. Uh, maybe maybe I'm out on my own here. Maybe you can agree with me if you look over his past things. I'll, I'll come up with a nice little image for it later on and compile it on a list and we can put it up on screen someday. But these are my list of sargonisms. Uh, sargonism number one. He will always show up for his stream late. He does this repeatedly, and I'm almost 100% certain it's some kind of weird, petty power play. By making the host wait for him, it shows that, uh, I, I don't know, maybe he's more powerful or popular, but he does it a lot. Sargonism number two. He always has to leave because he's very busy, or he's very sleepy. So he'll show up late, and then he'll leave early. These are two things that he does quite often. Now, sargonism number three, which we've kind of seen here, is... He will say something vague and dumb, and then wait for you to fill it in for him. And if you can't fill it in, you know, for him because you have more than two functioning brain cells, he'll say something along the lines of, well, I guess you just couldn't understand. I guess it's too much for you. It's, it's, it's too uh, far past your intelligence for you to grasp or comprehend. Let me show you the way by talking about it. Somebody wants to bullet point those for me. Keep track of them. You can tweet it at me later so I can come up with a nice little image. But those so far are three sargonisms, which I've noticed quite a bit. Oh, and don't forget number four, smugly chuckling. You can't forget the smug chuckles. They're always in there. Lots of smug chuckling. But let's uh, let's continue with the brilliant idea of resurrecting Gamergate to own the libs. <laughs> Behind me, not ahead of me. <laughs> no, you're not. You're looking way, way ahead. But you just, I don't know. You can't seem to do it, can you? I know I can't. I need you to shine a light on it. From the left wing's point of view, right? They are genuinely afraid of Gamergate, which is why they keep talking about Gamergate. So, <laughs> but what, so what? 
See, that was the perfect example of a sargonism. Smugly chuckling. Not really appropriate to smugly chuckle there, but he does it anyway. Just say something retarded, wait for people to not know what you're talking about, and smugly chuckle. And then if they, if they don't stop laughing at how dumb that is, tell them you're very sleepy and you need to go. But I don't mean to interrupt. Let's hear more of this brilliant plan. Right. What are you saying? Yeah, like, is it is it what I said though? What what are you, are saying? you saying? Gamer gang raped and killed a woman behind an Arby's in nineteen ninety. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. that was I, just I'm me, saying, Gator, not Gamer Gator. Yes, right. yes, yes. So again, if Gamer Gator is the eternal boogeyman, what would be the worst thing that Donald Trump could do? Uh, He's I mean, not going to co-sign Gamer. Get uh, get ready, folks. Here comes the uh, kill shot. Here comes where, this is the point where you can tell this man has read Locke. All right, we can't comprehend it, but he's up there with the big intellectual thinkers. Get ready. It could most, tweet out hashtag Gamergate? Is that what you're like? well, most people have no idea what Gamergate was or is. I don't think you, you realize that it's a thing on the internet, but most, most people have so, no yeah, idea. So yeah, we, we talked about this before. I, I of course know exactly what Gamergate was, because I was in it. Yeah, we all know. I of course, I wouldn't, we, I wouldn't yeah, presume what people are thinking like we, that. We all know. I'm just saying the public at large probably maybe 25. percent Yeah. Of course now everybody on Twitter knows what the fuck it is. You know, a lot of yes, the you know journalists and stuff know what it is, but uh, yeah. as far as the public at large, they don't. You, okay, how do you don't. get black people to join the alt right? Give them watermelons. <laughs> Fried chicken on, and Kool Aid helps too. That humor. Come on, my fellow white nigger. I know you. Just terrible. What an inappropriate joke to put in there. That's just horrible. We're, we're doing big boy adult things. I never should have said that. That was inappropriate. I apologize, chat. Terrible. I like those <laughs> that, that was, honestly, I thought that was a bit slow. You get Hillary Clinton to denounce the alt-right. Wait, sorry, was there a punchline? I can only hear crickets. Uh, it's not. <laughs> oh, you're being serious. I'm sorry. It's already <laughs> happened, Jim. This is documented and verifiable. When Hillary Clinton denounced the alt-right, loads of black people took to Twitter saying, well, I guess I'm alt-right then. And I was speaking to a few of the alt-right people, and they were freaking the fuck out, thinking the idea that a bunch of black people are going to invade a white supremacist movement, because nobody really knew. And so Hillary Clinton kind of set the narrative on it. Yeah, I mean, did I, I, I don't have, like, official membership numbers from the alt-right, but did, I mean, is there any evidence no, I know, that I don't have a spike? Okay, okay. Yeah. It was just, you know, like, you know, people, you'd see a lot of people on Twitter sort of freaking out about it. And understandably so. I mean, if you're a white supremacist, the last thing you want is black people stealing your movement or something. You know, that, that that's pretty... Uh, yeah, pretty I mean, funny. I remember her speech and everything. I actually thought that that was a yeah, tactical no, no, that, mistake. That she, she wasted the whole day of campaigning, you know, bitching yeah. about, you know, fucking Ma massive, Breitbart massive and shock. Pepe the Frog. <laughs> like, I mean, what was that all right. about? You know, anyway, but yeah. yeah but ima imagine them whinging about that to the point where Hillary Clinton feels the need to, and Justin Trudeau feel the need to, like, denounce Gamergate, effectively, the alt-right. Yeah, that dead silence you're hearing, uh, that's not the stream fucking up. That's not the recording uh, being bad. That's just stunned silence from people listening to this horrendous idea. So let me recap it. We'll jump around a little more. There are more clips. Uh, Sargon's brilliant idea to own the libs is to get Donald Tre or <laughs> to get Donald Trump to tweet Gamergate. That's part of his 20-year plan. Apparently, once Donald Trump tweets Gamergate, the world changes. All the leftist uh, journalists out there, they throw themselves off rooftops. They can't deal with it. It's just too much. Donald Trump said Gamergate, everyone. This is a, it's a, a really, it's a big brained idea. I don't think you can all appreciate it. And I don't think Carl really gets the, uh, you know, the accolades he deserves for the genius that he is. I'd like to go over a few more of Sargon's big brained ideas, because I just want to give you his track record on really smart thinking. In fact, we get an example of his super smart thinking in this stream. So if gamers can stop rising up for a moment, here was another of Sargon's most brilliant of ideas. The last time you pitched me an idea, okay, and I, I, you can go reread the conversation, was on Skype. 
I, I and don't Google care. was. I, I don't care. I, I want to just make the record clear. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly Google what was Google. crushing. The, when I'll Google was crushing. Goal, why won't you let me finish my finish. point? When Google because you're was making a silly point. What's you just you don't want to be about? embarrassed. I know you don't want to be embarrassed. Jim, let me finish my story. Sargon. Then you let me talk, won't you? You let me. Yes, let's talk one at a time. Thank you. It's a big boy conversation. We all want the pitch or not? You really don't want this story out there, do you? Jim, you've done a stream about it, haven't you? No, I haven't. I, Jim, just release it. I don't care. Just release it. I just want to go over the conversation. The last great idea you had, the big brained idea you had before about Google and how you could fight back against the apocalypse was oh, by no, taking. What was it? I can't you, 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 you were so excited. You told me, Jim, we just have to tell everybody uh, that we're Google's friends. We have to, if we appease, you, you quite literally yeah, went the method. Did, if we it. appease Google, yeah. Google will fight for us and give us our money back. Well, and it I turns told out you that was, was retarded. We didn't have that. Did, did that come out afterwards? Well, who told you it was a bad idea, though? I, I told you that's how it was going to play out. And you were yeah. so convinced. I was like, go for it. Because okay. <laughs> it's just a terrible idea. Right. So. Yeah, a little, little backstory. So back during the adpocalypse, I got a message from uh, Sergen. And he wanted to talk to me on Skype. So I went on to Skype to see what it was that Sergen wanted. And he, he sat me down, and he pitched me the probably the most retarded idea I've ever heard. Jim, Jim, you don't understand. Google is the victim. All these ad companies are bullying Google. Google really is on our side. So why don't we all together pull... There was a couple aspects to this. Why don't we pull our money together and buy advertisements in newspapers and on billboards? To tell people that we, the YouTubers, support Google. And we'll make videos saying that we support Google. Because if we do this, Google will give us our money back. Because we're kind of a big deal. We're YouTubers. And if they have our support, they'll get rid of all that hate speech shit. And they'll stop flagging our videos. And we'll get all that sweet ad revenue. And I told Sargon at the time, um, that is fucking retarded beyond measure. But he was very convinced that this was how you, he was going to save, uh, you know, YouTube and Google itself. And nothing ever happened with that. You could see with the, uh, the Demore stuff and all the leaked internal memos that Google doesn't care about a couple of YouTubers. They're doing their own shit. They've got their own corporate culture. And advertising companies aren't going to bend a knee because some people that talk about feminists on YouTube said, We love you, Google. We love you. Please give us, please give us our money back. Oh, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be in the poorhouse. Google, please put the ads back. I want to be your friend. Now you might be thinking, "Wow, that is a fucking stupid idea," but um, Sargon, he has a lot of big-brained ideas. I just don't think you can comprehend it. Get Donald Trump to tweet about Gamergate. Uh, tell Google that we love them and that we want to be their bestest friend on the internet. Oh, there was also this one. <laughs> there was also this sick one. Hey, 4chaners, you're going to love it. Sargon is an idea guy, and he's got an idea for you. Like, 4chan, guys, you you could be, like, if you need ideas, I've got lots of ideas, so I'm saying. <laughs> you know? I, um, I, could, I could easily concoct a scheme to get you guys international coverage and to bring the problem of communists in universities to the forefront. Easily. Mm -hmm. you, you, what, you, well, you're I, doing this weekly. What, what do you mean? Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. How about this? So, say tomorrow, uh, Monday morning, on I don't know, like twenty university campuses in America. Outside of the, you know, the sort of George Sicarello Ma types, the we, you know, I'm dreaming for a white genocide, all those types. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Imagine if on their doors to their offices was a picture of Joe McCarthy. That's some. Um... That's some pretty smart thinking. I don't know about you guys, but I think we can all smugly chuckle at the idea of owning those communist libs on the college campuses. You know, teaching them a real lesson by hashtagging the shit out of them. Nothing screams don't fuck with me like a little hashtag activism. <laughs> that wasn't... That conversation he had with Millennial Woes was not the... Uh, it was not just that portion. He had a lot of great ideas. Uh, see if you can count the dead silence in between what he says... And Millennial Woe is trying to process what the fuck he just heard. Again, big brain thinking. Try not to try not to emulate this. You might hurt yourself. The thing is, the alt-right 
can gain everything they want using social justice. Right. There's a, there's a little bit of silence there. No, no, trust me, guys. If you want to win this culture war thing you're all doing, you need to you need to be the SJWs. No, I'm totally serious, Smugly Chuckles. You need to be the SJWs. And then call those fucking libs commies. And we'll hashtag that shit. There's a lot of, a lot of really smart thinking going on in that particular stream. Lots of really great big ideas. I like how he pitched it, too. When he was talking to Millennial, he said... <laughs> how did he explain it? He tried to, uh, you know, compare it to automobiles. He said, listen... You're trying to drive to your goal. Does it really matter what car you take to get there? Who cares if it's alt-right politics? What if you took the SJW Subaru instead? Trust me on this, guys. If you become the SJWs, you're totally going to win. And I'm not saying that, Smugly Chuckles, to uh, make it easier to dunk on you. You know, it's almost like Sargon can't handle the alt-right or people right-leaning conservatives who make fun of him. Because all the rhetoric he has is aimed at SJWs. So it kind of seems like maybe he went on that stream with Millennial Woes to try to sell him some bullshit and get him to be an SJW so Sargon could then use the same tired bullshit he uses day in and day out on fat, blue-haired feminists. And it would work. Rather than trying it on people who just say, you're not as smart as you think you are, Carl. I don't know. That's just a... It's a hunch. Call it a hunch, chat. <laughs> 